Hey everyone, today we're looking at the delisting tool by Debauer, but before we get started, if you're new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe and tap that notification bell. Now, if you've never heard of this tool before, it's been designed to be incredibly practical and easy to use so that you can easily remove or delid the integrated heat spreader or IHS from the CPU without having to try and use something like an X-Acto or Stanley knife. Now, the version we have is the version 2. This is compatible with Intel Ivy Bridge, Haswell, Devil's Canyon, Broadwell, Skylake, and KB Lake CPUs. Now, if you're watching this and thinking, why would I want to or even need this? This tool essentially allows you to decrease the temperatures of your CPU. Now, the reason it allows this is because once the CPU is delidded, we'll actually then move on to replace the thermal compound between the IHS and the CPU. We actually did this recently using an Intel i7-8700K CPU, which is clocked at 3.7 gigahertz. Now, before starting this process, we took some temperature records using a mix of CPU-Z to stress the CPU and speed fan to monitor the temperatures of each core. And as you can see from our tests before delidding, we were seeing an average of about 60.3 degrees Celsius across those cores. So to get started, you will obviously of course want to first power off your PC, remove the CPU cooler, and then remove the CPU from the motherboard. But of course, if you've got mounting brackets like us, then you may need to remove these before you can reach the clasp of the CPU. Of course, when handling computer components, you want to ensure that you're grounded using a wrist strap or similar. Now, whilst being careful, you want to use some form of rubbing alcohol and tissue to remove the thermal compound from the outside of the CPU as you'll reapply some new stuff later on. For now, just make sure it's as clean as possible. After you've mounted your CPU into the delidding tool, you want to put the tool together, lightly put the top on, and then put the screw through and use the Allen key provided and slowly tighten until you hear it is slightly sort of like a click slash pop sound. Um, you'll actually feel it as well when you're tightening it, it'll get very tight and then it will just kind of click. Now it won't take much force after you actually hear that sound um, and after that you can actually undo the delidding tool and you'll see it's already loose. Of course, once it's delidded, you'll want to clean any old thermal compound or grease from the IHS and the CPU dye using rubbing alcohol. Uh, what we actually found with ours is it was actually quite like crumbly and it almost just kind of fell off, uh, so it obviously wasn't very good stuff used by Intel initially. Now for this, the thermal compound slash grease that we we actually used between the IHS and the CPU is a thermal grease called Cryonor, and that's by a company called Thermal Grizzly. Now you only want to apply a small amount here. You may also want to consider using some silicon or some something similar to essentially glue the IHS back to the CPU. But we opted not to bother with this and I'll go into that in a second. So once the thermal grease or compound is placed and the lid is pushed back on, you can then reinsert it into the PC, add in some thermal compound, and then you can actually use the weight from the CPU cooler to push down on the IHS to seal it onto the CPU. So now that's what we did. We didn't bother with using any silicon. We just used the weight of the CPU cooler to actually clamp it back down. Uh, but of course, if you did want to actually go ahead and use some silicon, then the Debauer tool actually comes with a clamp as well. So you can put it back into the tool and then you can clamp the IHS and the CPU down together um, if you opted to use some stuff to basically glue it back together, that is. But that is all there is to it. You can then retest to compare and see whether there are any differences in the thermals. Unfortunately, we didn't record any of the results on camera, so you're just gonna have to trust me when I say we did see the thermals drop by an average of 10 degrees. Obviously, it will differ per core, but across, we saw an average of approximately 10 degrees Celsius drop. Now, the question of the day is, is it worth delidding a new CPU since it avoids the warranty? What do you think? Drop a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next one.